Matho Monastery, or Matho Gonpa or Mangtro Monastery or Mangtro Gonpa, from the Tibetan Mang, that means many, and Tro, that means happiness, is a Tibetan Buddhist monastery located 26 km southeast of Leh in Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir, northern India, on the banks of the Indus River. The village of Matho is located at the mouth of a deep gorge running out of the Zanskar Range and across the Indus. It is directly opposite Thiksa Monastery. Matho and Skidmang in the eastern Ladakh 130 km to the east of Leh are the only example in Ladakh of the Sakyapa sect of Tibetan Buddhism. Because Matho does not lie on the main highway from Leh, it sees fewer visitors than Hemis, Thisk or She. However, it is known to outsiders for its annual Oracle Matho Nagring Festival, held on the 14th and 15th days of the first month of the Tibetan calendar. During this festival, two oracles, known as Rongzan, are said to inhabit for a few hours the body of two monks. The purpose of these oracles is to attempt to predict the fortunes of the local village communities for the coming year. Three monks that are to be the oracle's vehicles are chosen every three years by the monks of the monastery for a duration of three years. The first year the monks will have to meditate for nine months before the festival. The following two years the meditation will last two months. When the three monks come out from the retreat, all the monks will gather together to form a circle. The names of the three monks will be placed in a bowl. The bowl is then sealed and passed from one monk to the next until one name comes out from the bowl. This monk is chosen by the monastery's protector to perform the oracle. Matho is also home to a collection of thangkas dating back to the 14th century. Topic: History. Founded in 1410 century by Lama Dugpa Dorje, it belongs to the Sakya order. It is noted for its 600-year-old Thangkas and its Matho Nagring festival. The Gompha is the only one in Ladakh belonging to the Sakyapa and is said to be one of the few which is seeing an increase of monks in recent years. Topic. Description Most of the buildings are, apparently, rather dilapidated but there is a new assembly hall or Dukang which was built in 2005 and which has very colorful paintings and a Sakamuni Buddha as main statue. There is a small chapel on the top story containing images of Sakya Pandita and other Sakya Lamas. There is a museum adjoining it with a number of very beautiful old thangkas, some of which are thought to have been brought from Tibet in the first half of the 15th century when the monastery was founded. Unfortunately, many of them are very worn. The masks and robes worn by the lamas in the annual dance festival may also be seen in the museum. Topic: The Festival of the Oracles. The annual festival of the two Rongzan oracles takes place around the Buddhist New Year, usually in the first half of March. Three monks are chosen every three years to get ready as the potential receptacles. They purify themselves with months of fasting and meditation to make themselves suitable receptacles for receiving the oracle's spirits. When possessed they are said to be able to perform many astounding feats such as cutting themselves with knives and walking around the ramparts of the top story blindfolded with no fear of falling down the precipice below. While in this trance state they answer questions about the prospects for Matho and Ladakh for the coming year as well as personal questions put to them by individuals. However, if skeptical questions are put to the oracle to test him, he is said to react with a frenzied display of anger. <laughs> 